Now, your CBS 47 pinpoint weather forecast. Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. We're headed into a beautiful weekend. Temperatures are on the uh, cooler side than average, and we're going to see that continue for the next couple of days. Let's take a look outside now, and we have a picture sent in one by Weather Eyewitnesses. This is from our friend Liz Christie of Bass Lake. She went hiking over Tioga Pass. That's Mount Dana in the background there. She said it's gorgeous this time of year. Take Highway 120 through Yosemite to get there. There's a live look at Yosemite right now. Should see Half Dome and the high Sierra in the background. We're getting ready for sunrise here around. 545. A couple of thin clouds left over the mountains, but those should clear out today as all that moisture shifts east of our area and also takes that chance of storms with it. Live look at Madeira this morning along Highway 41 with our sky view camera, and you can see we're pretty far away from sunrise at this point, but we do have those clear skies. Better air quality today as that new air flows in off the ocean. We're at 63 degrees currently. Winds are calm, and we'll see another breezy evening tonight, but otherwise shouldn't be quite as windy as yesterday. Air quality has improved. It's moderate. For Madera, Fresno, and Kings counties today, actually good in Merced and Tulare counties, thanks to that nice cool breeze we've been enjoying since last night. That's going to keep us cooler as well as drier, so won't feel quite as humid outside either. No mountain storms over the next couple of days, but by next week we'll see the humidity return along with that oppressive heat. So it's going to be very hot and humid once again with that chance of storms. Could even see a thunderstorm for the valley by Tuesday of next week. But for now, you can see that ridge of high pressure anchored over the Four Corners area, actually kind of lifting north. Out of our area, toward uh, out of our area, and so it's taking all that moisture with it. It also allows this low pressure system off the coast to get closer to us and pull that cooler air off the ocean, and that's why it was so windy over the Pacheco Pass yesterday. In fact, Las Vanas saw a high of 89 degrees yesterday, thanks to that cooler air, and that's going to keep us below average. Average is 98 this time of year, and we'll actually see 96 for your high in Fresno today. 95 in Reedley, 96 Hanford, Corcoran, and Porterville. Foothills today in the low to mid 90s. 90 in Mariposa, 91 in Oakhurst. Could see an 89 up in Coulterville. And for the mountains, 70s and 80s. 73 up around China Peak and Huntington Lake. 78 for Shaver, 80 in Hume Lake, 93 in Yosemite Valley. And as we mentioned, it's going to be cooler for the North Valley. 90 in Las Vanas, 93. Merced, Madera, and Mendota, 97 degrees in Kalinga today. Our Boz pollen count is back in the low range. It's actually dropped a little bit. We only have weeds in the air, so the good news there, no worries about grass. It's been affecting my sinuses for the last couple of days. So love to see that, especially with the winds dying down. And our overnight lows are going to get down. To the low 60s for most of the valley. 69 in Fresno, so you can definitely open up that window tonight, cool off for free. We'll see overnight lows in the low to mid 60s for the foothills, and we'll be in the 40s and 50s tonight for the mountains. So, our seven day forecast shows temperatures that are going to stay in the upper 90s for the next couple of days. We'll be in the 90s all the way through Saturday, by Sunday back up to 104, and by Monday, hot and humid. 107 then. We'll stay in the low 100s into next week. Could even see a thunderstorm in the valley by Tuesday. We can finally hear, and um, you could escape to much cooler weather, I guess. I guess, but won't be quite as hot, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not one of those bad weekends to stay in the valley, but it will be nice if you do want to travel. So good morning, Joey. Good morning, everybody. And if you do want to get away, we're going to see 70s and 60s along the coast. Let's go ahead and check out that travel forecast for Southern California. Sunshine down there. We'll see some patchy morning fog and then afternoon sunshine. Temperatures topping out in the 70s around San Diego and LA. Low 100s for the desert around Palm Springs and Vegas. Central Coast, 70 degrees in Pismo for the high. Most of the day will be in the 60s. Topping out at 70, 79 in San Luis Obispo, and mid to upper 60s around Monterey and Santa Cruz, 85 degrees in Tahoe. For the mountains right now, gorgeous look at Hume Lake. A couple of thin clouds in the background there. Otherwise, it should be a sunny day for the mountains with highs in the low uh, 80s for some areas. 70s today up around the higher elevations will be in the 80s for the weekend, up to 88 degrees by Sunday. No chance of storms. A slight chance next week as the heat and humidity returns with a good chance of thunderstorms by next Thursday.